uh, but we'll be converting everything to, to fiber. fiber. So that's something that, you know, not to get excited in Latin America, uh, that our operators are not going to have probably that configuration. Yeah. But just to remind, well, you yeah. know better than myself, but, you know, that you are in the ideal situation. For we are. The, we are. We're very fortunate with that. But even in the microwave situation, it's working extremely well. So we're extremely excited about the new capabilities and the new uh, devices that we're seeing. Now, you had also asked me about devices. So um, one of the, the benefits of being first and, and being uh, a large operator, uh, we have been able to uh, get a lot of interest from device manufacturers. Uh, when we did uh, the CES, the Consumer Electronics Show in January, we announced 10 devices that will be shipping before the end of the year. We're talking about just dangles or also... No, some so we announced, um, we've launched two dongles. We have one more coming. Okay. Uh, we also announced four smartphones from HTC, Motorola, Samsung, and LG. Okay, so you're already kind of well supplied. We are well supplied and we're actually demonstrating them here. So if you get an opportunity, uh, please come by the booth. We also are showing a tablet. Mm -hmm. Now the Motorola Zoom, first with Honeycomb uh, operating system, that will launch in the first quarter in 3G, and then it'll be customer, uh, it'll be upgradable uh, for 4G in the second quarter. And and I think I said by the end of the year, by middle of the year, all of these devices will launch. Okay. We announced two mobile hotspots, which are very exciting devices because then. Anything that's Wi-Fi can shared. now be shared, and it's not slow, it's fast. So it's like having a DSL or a high speed on the go, on the go, anywhere that, you want real. to be. For real. Because we were told that with 3G, but now it's for real. No, it's for real. Okay. I've been doing this for a long time, and you know, being a, a, a mobile worker, you had to have patience. Yeah. No longer. Okay. No compromises anymore. It's it's faster than being in the office, I find. Okay. So we're really excited about that. So tablets, uh, embedded laptops, mm -hmm. mobile hotspots, dongles, smartphones, and we've actually seen a number of business applications. Merging because of LTE? Because of LTE. For example, uh, one of the things we're showing in the booth is a very high resolution still and motion camera that can allow whiteboarding for remote workers. And so you can take a very highly skilled worker, put them in a call center, and have a less expensive with worker out with the camera in the field supplying the skills and capabilities because the eyes are there and you've so got the capabilities. So mobile health and things like that. And mobile health. So another one we demonstrated at CES was uh, a company called BL Healthcare. And it's uh, in a box, a tablet, which has remote capabilities for pulse oximeter, blood pressure monitoring, blood sugar monitoring, even video conferencing. So now doctors can once again make house calls. So there are whole new capabilities and revenue streams to be had because of those capabilities it's truly an exciting time. Okay, let me ask you about one thing about LTE that all, all, also the operators want to have clear. Um, they face in Latin America and many operators, I don't know if uh, it's your case, I think probably you are also on that borderline before you launch the LTE network. In terms of capacity, you know, you got so many smartphones being sold, everyone is, everyone is connecting, some points get very congested, and some of the providers that sold you the equipment for LTE said, well, you know, with LTE you're going to be covered with capacity and with the speed, so, you know, don't worry. Uh, is that true? Is we are LTE? finding it to be true. Now, one benefit we have is new spectrum. So if you don't have spectrum, then forget it. You forget it. Forget it. But we get two benefits. One is for every customer who moves to LTE, they get a great experience and we get to use that capacity and return capital and return on our investment. Plus, we're moving the load from 3G to LTE. 4G. And so a lot of our existing customers are upgrading and so that provides us relief on 3G at the same time. Okay. So it's giving us a double benefit. Are you expecting because you're going to be launching so many devices so soon because usually you know we expect a new technology and you, you spend or you used to spend perhaps one year almost with just dongles and you know few people but now you're just going full-blown with two dongles, four smartphones, tablets, uh, embedded PCs. 
So, and um, I've seen your prices and they are competitive with 3G. So you are incentivating people to go to LTEs. Yes, we are. Uh, do you expect having issues with congestion anytime soon? Uh, the need to reduce cell sites, the need yeah. to, I don't know, change I configurations? Um, the way that we have done the models, we expect to have the existing configuration uh, to be able to supply us for a number of years okay. before we have to add capacity. Uh, so, no, we think uh, it's a great investment. Can I just, I mean, let me just rip, go around this issue. Um, operators in Latin America also thought their configuration for the backhauling was going to be uh, good for a few years, and in one year it was completely uh, destroyed, let's say. Um, what has changed in terms of your planning? Uh, because perhaps you had the same issues at the beginning, yeah. because 3G was a new technology yeah. and you were used to, sure. to the 2G. So how the modeling in terms of your planning yeah. 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 Uh, changes? So two things. One is, obviously, it's new spectrum and uh, the spectral efficiency of LTE is much better. Okay. And so we can actually put more bits per hertz out there and it's, it's going to have a lot of capacity for some time. Uh, second is the backhaul. So the benefit of having fiber is that it's almost limitless capacity. We can dial it up when needed. So that may be a challenge for some, but if you can get there, okay. it's, it's, it, it's a huge fiber is the, okay. fiber fiber is the, the answer key. on the backhaul. Okay. Uh, back home. Yeah. All right, and uh, finally, uh, I'm going to ask you about something that you obviously can, uh, if you want, don't respond. Is the iPhone? You just launch it. Uh, are you going to have any iPhone with LTE? Are we going to? I expect at some point we will have an iPhone with LTE and an iPad as well. I would expect at some point we will have an iPad with LTE, but I can't say when. Okay. Now, what I can say though is the iPhone has Wi-Fi. The iPad has Wi-Fi with a mobile hotspot, you can have it LTE. today. Very, very soon, you'll have, because the, uh, the, the mobile hotspot will be one of the soon devices that we'll have in the marketplace, so your iPhone 4 or 3 or can 2 connect can connect through that and have 4G speeds. And